today's forum on the topic of plane travel has become increasingly safer over the last 15 years. We have all seen advancements in the technology used in airplanes and it's quite apparent that it has improved. But to what extent? That is, that is why today I have decided to invite three panelists who are Derek, Hao Yao and Tech Sun respectively, who are going to discuss about the topic. Firstly, I am sure that all of you understand what an autopilot system is. That is why I would like to start off by putting forward the first question. Does aircraft autopilot system 100% avoid plane crashes? Derek, would you like to answer? Okay, thank you Edgar. So in my opinion, the autopilot cannot 100% avoid plane crashes and being too dependent on the autopilot system is also unsafe. Can you further clarify your point? The autopilot system has flaws and might malfunction. On the other hand, when passing through some extreme turbulences, the autopilot system will automatically disengage and allow the pilot to take control. That's why in some cases, the autopilot system cannot be depended on and the pilot must manually take over to ensure the aircraft's safety. Sorry to interrupt, but I would like to add a point. Nowadays, pilots rely too much on autopilot system. Pilots without proper training might not be able to overcome sudden problems with the autopilot system, sometimes causing them to panic and leading to plane crashes. I agree with you there, Hao Yao. But as time passes, we will slowly see advancements in the autopilot system and there might be a day where it can 100% avoid plane crashes. Yes, just like a previous plane crash accident that happened a while back was caused by a faulty autopilot system. Well. Moving on, extreme weather has also contributed to the number of aviation accidents. Well, how well, would you would you kindly explain to us why and how does weather affect flight? Sure. Extreme weather conditions such as heavy snow or rain and extremely cold temperatures increases the chances of plane crashes. Heavy snow and or rain can obstruct the visibility of the pilot, cont contributing to several aviation accidents. On the other hand, when temperature falls too low, in-flight icing might occur. If the conditions are serious, in icing at the wings and engines might also occur. And the effects are devastating and might even lead to plane crashes. Sorry to interrupt you, but can you briefly explain how does in-flight icing at the engines cause plane crashes? Yes, if in-flight icing occurs at the engine, air intakes and the fuel cells, mechanical failure might occur leads to the loss of power of the aircraft, and thus causing plane crashes. I see, I agree with you. Me too, I agree with you too. Uh, however, I would like to add something. Strong turbulence can also cause a sudden acceleration of the aircraft and may result in temporal loss of control of the air. Well, indeed, about 13 to 14 percent of plane crashes are caused by weather. Now, I would like to move on to the next part. We are always asked by the flight attendants to turn off our mobile phones or turn on flight mode. Take soon. Would you like would you mind explaining why do we have to switch off our phones during flight? Sure. In my opinion, I think that the reason behind it is that signals emitted by phones and other gadgets could interfere with sensitive electronic systems in the aircraft. Although this has not been scientific proven, but experts believe that the radio waves transmitted by from the gadgets might be able to obstruct or prevent signals from the command towers to reach the aircraft. I think I have to disagree on that statement. I doubt that radio waves from gadgets such as phones will actually interfere with other radio waves transmitted from radio towers or between planes. I will have to interrupt you right there. It's believed that mobile devices could act in a similar way on electronic based systems such as radars, navigation systems and communication. So that's why I think that phones should be switched off during flight. I would have to agree with Texu. Although there's no scientific proof, there's been a requirement and regulation for all aviation services for years. Passengers are always asked to turn off their cell phones during flight for the safety purposes and to prevent any unwanted accidents. And thus I think we should comply. Lastly before I end this forum, I would like to ask what important roles are people obligated 
tool in order to prevent plane crashes? I think that the maintenance team plays a very important role in preventing plane accidents because without proper maintenance, an aircraft cannot function properly. Well, can you clarify how frequent do you think maintenance on aircraft should be conducted? In my opinion, I think it is best a routine checkup and maintenance is conducted after every flight to ensure there are no defects. I agree, but I would also like to state that pilots are also obligated to ensure the aircraft and its passengers' safety. Pilots have to be well trained and well pre prepared as well as well equipped to deal with any sort of problems during flight. Well, oh, Jackson, how about you? What are your thoughts? Well, for me, I think that the air traffic control plays a very important role. They have to ensure everything is going as planned. They have to direct planes to the, their designated spots without proper communication between the ATC and the pilots. Plane crashes or collisions might occur. Well, thank you to my fellow panelists for sharing your thoughts and opinions regarding this topic. Well, in conclusion, planes have been a huge part of transportation and have benefited us greatly. Since aviation transportation was first introduced, many, many problems and concerns, concerns have been pointed out regarding its safety. As for today, we can see that planes have advanced a lot and have been always been a reliable mode of transportation for people around the globe. Hopefully, this forum has given people insights regarding aviation safety issues. Thank you.